Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley, and yesterday an old friend of mine called me. He was actually out in California, and he uh, he was arrested for DUI. He says that he wasn't under the influence, but he was very tired. He had just driven, I don't know, like 12 or 15 hours. Um, supposedly he didn't do too well on the exercises, told the officer that he was tired, um, but uh, ultimately got arrested. It is what it is, right? I don't know if he was impaired or not, but he decided to not retain an attorney out there in California. He uh, ultimately applied for and received a public defender. So he called me yesterday and I didn't realize he had the public defender on the phone. I guess he just, he knows that I'm a NHTSA instructor and that I handle a lot of DUI cases. So he calls me and, and says, hey, he's being offered what's referred to in, in the state of California as a wet reckless. So obviously I know what a reckless driving charge is and wet just means that there's influence of drugs or alcohol. Um, that's pretty much standard throughout the country, but California has a lesser included, so it's, you can't be charged with this crime um, by a police officer, but it can be pled down. So for DUI purposes, what the public defender told me was that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's like a lesser DUI. If you're in California and you're charged again, it'd be like you were charged with a second DUI. I don't know how Florida, whatever, would deal with it. But I think what concerned me was, is that, you know, my, my buddy says to me, hey, Roger, what, what do you think I should do? Should I take this? And I go, well, I don't know. What does the police report say? Um, how does the video look? Um, what about the reputation of the officer, the training of the officer? Have you gone through discovery? And... You know, the public defender says, no, I, you know, I, I haven't even gotten to it yet. And I'm thinking, okay, um, sure, you haven't, you know, in my mind, I didn't say it out loud, but this is just a learning, you know, moment. So I figured I'd put it on YouTube is if you got a client that's got a DUI, sure, you might get an offer before you receive the discovery and you have a duty to relay that offer to your client. But how could you in good faith ever tell a client to take a year of probation on a lesser included offense, um, a wet reckless, which is basically a, a DUI in California, um, have those penalties, a year of probation, you know, whatever he had to do, uh, classes, he has to take some drug and alcohol classes and all that, without looking at the discovery, without looking for technical arguments, without looking um, at the video. I mean, it just, it's amazing to me because you know, my, my, my buddy calls me, goes, look, they, you know, he wants me to, I kind of need to make a decision right now. And I'm like, right now, like, what do you mean right now? Have you seen the discovery? Have you read? No, I haven't seen it. Then, you know, the, the public defender goes, no, no, I, I you know, I have it. I, you know, I can give you a copy of it. Well, you should have did that a long time ago, buddy. Like, um, you, you should give him a copy of his discovery. You should share the video with him. You should review the the positives and the, and the negatives of the case to determine whether or not the plea offer is worth it. Well, we got to make a decision right now. Uh, what is the offer going to be closed? I mean, do you not, is there no due process? Are we not allowed to look at our discovery in California? Um, anyway, I don't think it's California. I think it was the public defender. It's a lot easier to go, you know, sign here and the case is over and the public defender doesn't have to do any work. Listen, I don't care if it's a public defender. I don't care if it's a private attorney. We're all attorneys. We all take the same oath to do the best that we can do for our client. And I gotta tell you, my buddy's not getting the best over there, but you get what you pay for. You, what do you pay, a $50 application fee and you know, whatever the charge that they, they charge you. You get what you pay for in this business. Um, I don't know. That's just my my thoughts on it, man. I, I couldn't even believe that he was asking him to take a plea right at the moment without having reviewed the discovery, the video, gone over it with him, showed him if there was any motions. Because I said, well, are there any motions? Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. But why the hell are you talking to your client about, oh, you should take this plea right now? Like, I, what? That's just insanity. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and I'm against insanity.
I'll see you. Take care.